minister will be keeping a sharp eye on it as well as myself and the chief medical officer. And I, I just uh, might be very frank, I don't want to predict two weeks out, but uh, we'll, we'll be out here every single day communicating with the people. I just, I can't give you a direct answer uh, right now, two weeks down the road. It comes down to the volume of vaccines that we can get. I'm going to give you one example uh, today. We're, we're, we're going to get a, a good chunk of uh, Pfizer, but Moderna, uh, I think it's a fourth or fifth time we were expecting it, I think fifth time, that we thought we're getting, we aren't getting now. We aren't getting it until next week. So, you know, the, the yardstick it just keeps constantly moving. Uh, and then uh, AstraZeneca, I understand, is going to land here uh, tomorrow and uh, then we'll, we'll see how quickly we can get it. But I just do not understand how the federal government, they know it's landing tomorrow and they can't give us a time when it's going to land here in Toronto. We just can't snap our fingers to these pharmacies and, and turn them on overnight. So we just need some uh, notice when, when stuff's coming. It's, uh, it's the single most frustrating thing throughout this whole pandemic, not knowing when you're going to get supply.